Hi guys, welcome to the ISO Pillar here. This morning we had a user on Discord who had completely wrong Pacman. So the Pacman has a configuration, pacman.conf, and it's called, well, it's situated in the etc, so etc pacman.conf. And we have already an alias to edit it, so nano, and then etc pacman.conf. You can go down with page up and page down, you go all the way and you can change these things. Hashtag in front of it and it will not be used anymore or just the opposite and you'll use it. So with a control X and a yes, it's gonna be saved. The same thing we've done, this is the manual thing, right? The same thing can be done with the Outlinks 3 tool. There is the Pac-Man here and now it's not enabled. Because of me, because of my hashtags, it shows it's not enabled, boom. It's enabled again, it's just that simple. Now, the person in question this morning didn't have any of these. The, the Pac-Man was not Arclonix's Pac-Man, simple as that. And the result that we got is actually this, right? If we do this, basically what are we having? We have an, having an Arch Linux system, core, extra, community, multilib, it's pure Arch. And any packages on our repo will not be updated, will not be able to install WPS Office. You need to build with Paru or Yay from AOR itself. So the problem there was, it's probably a wrong, completely wrong uh, Pacman. And I thought we should make something, we should create something because this is not the first time this happened. So the Pacman, the package manager is the most essential package there is, handler there is, for all your packages for now and in the future. So if your etc pacman.conf is not okay, that's not okay. <laughs> so we've made an alias, fix, fix what? Tap, fix this, fix that, lots of things, but there is a new one, fix pacman.conf, fix my pacman configuration, enter. He sees you got internet, so he's going to get from the internet the very latest, latest uh, version of pacman.conf and it's immediately saved to etc pacman.conf. So that's an easy fix. Let's um, do that again and show you with a and pacman and screw things up, right? So start by typing lots of stuff in there. Control X, yes, save. I run this thing again. And I check and you see it's gone so the official pacman.conf is back in place and now everything will be you will be able to update everything and the three lines up here are back that's one so we have an, an easy alias of fix um, that's going to run an application and a bash script but it also merits a place in the Arclinx tweet tool for sure, because really this is one of the things that we have to explain over and over again for the last four years. So we've got these fixes. Get the original Arclinx etc sdm.conf, right? But let's do an update because that's not the very last Arclinx tweet tool. But I think I need to push him, let's see, sudo pacman minus s, arclinux, tweak tool, it gets, that's the one you have. It is the 41, so I guess I still need to push it to the internet on my end, I will get the update in, because fixes, it should have the extra line. So let's pause the video, I will push it to the internet. Voila, maybe a good thing that we did this this way, because now you see the old one, and the new one. So this is the old one. Fixes, four lines, number five coming when you update your system. So the only thing we do is actually add a button. And if you don't know the alias anymore, it starts with fix, right? But it's here, get the original Arclinx etc pacman.conf. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So again, we could try this with an pacman and try to, well not try, write rubbish, control X, yes please, save. So rubbish is in there and I'm gonna reset the pacman and save to original and let's have a look. 
it's again clean as it should be and that's another fix for future users remember them help them tell okay there's a fix there's an alias but there's also the att and you can reset the pacman and start again from a good uh, pacman configuration all right cheers